New tonight, residents in a West Columbus neighborhood say they are concerned over a new Greyhound bus terminal. They say it's bringing crime to their neighborhood and it is still operating. Now, this comes just 24 hours after they brought up their concerns during a public meeting last night to city leaders. TNTV's Ashley Bornanson live tonight from that terminal with the update on this. Ashley. Andrew Yolanda, I spoke with Deputy Director Anthony Celebrezzi and he tells me this terminal is actually allowed to remain open. However, he says the city did not initially know that the terminal was going to be a Greyhound terminal, and he says they didn't even know they, they were allowed to operate or were operating until last Monday. We are not the issue. Greyhound is the issue. Safety is the issue. Home values are the issue. Parking is an issue. All of that is an issue right now. Issues. Molly Moody, a local business owner in West Columbus, says is all the neighborhood has had since the new Greyhound terminal started operating June 28th. But the main concern? We were not aware. The businesses were not aware. Tony Celebrezzi, the deputy director, says the city was also blindsided. Did the city know at the time it was going to be a Greyhound facility as well, or you were unaware of that? It was, it was not portrayed to us. It was just a, it was a bus terminal. However, because it's zoned as a C4 commercial, it was not the city's responsibility to notify residents. The way the code's written, if you're doing an activity on a, on a parcel that's zoned correctly, you don't need variances, there's no, there's not not necessarily interaction with the neighborhood or the area commission. Celebrezzi says the city is encouraging the terminal to leave, but at this point, the city doesn't have another bus terminal like this. And if uh, we shut it down, which we do have the authority to do, the challenge becomes where do those buses start dropping off people and are they dropping off people in unsafe locations. In the meantime, they're pressing owners for improvements to the site. Celebrezzi says they've increased securities, cameras and bathroom facilities with an outdoor weather controlled trailer and nicer porta potties. Then by the end of this week, we are expecting to see a new site plan and new building plan. Uh, the site plan will help us understand how many people he's expecting, where, how the traffic uh, both pick up and drop off and then the bus traffic how is going to move around the site in a safe manner. Regardless, Moody says it needs to be moved. It needs to be to a larger location. What are they going to do in the winter? What, what's going to happen in the cold weather? And when do you want this to happen? Immediately. Tonight, Columbus Police confirm with me that there have already been 13 run reports to the terminal itself just this month. Now, I did reach out to Greyhound multiple times for comment, but they did not respond. Reporting live in West Columbus, I'm Ashley Bornanson for 10TV News.